Wait, so how the fuck do I get a cleaver, dude? Holy shit. I want one. Is it just level or how do I get Scyther to be cleaver? I want him. I want to be him. I mean, I want him. I, I mean, uh... <laughs> I did it, 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 I did it. I'm sorry. She said, how does it go? Hold on. I think I can help with this one. Give me a sec. Hmm, marvelous rich tone. How does it, how is it produced? I must know. Oh, or hello, didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful, just the person I need. Want to learn more about Cricketot? You must be curious about them as well. I mean, how do they make the sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. It'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricket Thoughts page of the Pokédex showed me or so, I mean, so you can uncover the truth. Does that do anything for you? <laughs> <laughs> Balloon Boy and FNAF be like. <laughs> Not like Banjo-Kazooie characters. Oh, Mario, you're the girl from the survey car you fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I can tell you about the great cake lure recipe I invented. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have here? Could it be a mushroom cake? <laughs> Two fable plates of the old. Please let me have a look. I heard those mushroom cakes are like super famous. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says where all creation was born. That is the beings places of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How'd you come across it? Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> you just sort of had one. I see. So you were given the plates when you press weird dirt cleaver. or that is quite something indeed. My art is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across history. If we were to gather them all, decipher the scripts on them, you may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, so how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way until next time. What a fucking point at you. I'm gonna fucking give you one of these. <laughs> mm, well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to history's people. You are stranger to us, one who fell from the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself a degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I've received word that all the Pokemon Noble Hills falling prey to such friendlies elsewhere in history. So, carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you're truly an asset to us. That is all you are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely though at Wallfire. You should join them. Why is Benny always sitting here with the exact same stance? <laughs> Why is he always sitting just like this? Stanced up every time. He's bringing out the whole well, she's got me up and he's doing you and a young friend here, you know. He's got quite a lot to come back on our after facing off against the I dare say Boinkus was well prepared. And she was quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. Going to work in the field that should be feel a lot safer thanks to you, Boinkus. And if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Betty taught me how to make them, so I wrote down his directions into a recipe. I'm stealing fucking credit. What the fuck? Boinkus. I've been waiting for you, Boinkus. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Why do, are my arms out like this? Why, why am I stanced up? This is kind of a secret, but I shitted and farted. <laughs> Something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought <laughs> calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think that might happen at this rate, so please, Boinkus, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. I don't believe you. <laughs> Why is there a five-year-old that's like, times of old? Nope. I guess that's a normal response to hearing such a crazy story. I must sound crazy. Well, I guess it's time to fucking kill you. <laughs> you have to believe me. Can I give you this odd keystone anyway? It'll help you see the truth. Um... Why did a six-year-old give me a strange... Th Is this spirit tomb? After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across his way. Hundreds and seven, hundred and seven of them in total. Oh, great. What in the fucking Korok sapling shit is this? She's totally going to disappear, right? She's going to be one of the wisps. She's going to be like, well, 106. 
See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where you are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Why, why is she like this? What is this stance, bro? Touch. I won! Boo. <laughs> the wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as it should have been. Huh? <laughs> Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me when you, if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll find some rewards as thanks. I'll wait for you here while you carry out your search. Good luck. <laughs> I... <laughs> me, the four-year-old child, knows all this about the past. Not weird at all, anyway. Well, the Galaxy Team's hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, um, hey, you're Bonkus, the girl who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Yeah. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually quite scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm a Rusu, by the way. Definitely not Commander Mars from the Ga Team Galactic. Or Ga Yeah. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Giving haircuts? Oh, snip. Haha. <laughs> Scissor pun. But I came here to talk to your Mr. Commando. See you around. <laughs> Anyway. Hey, listen to this. I saw something out of the wild. Oh, it was incredible. Come again? The thing is, I saw it was, it was a will-o'-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on Windswept Run the other night, it leaped at me and was like, woo! Ah, uh, shut the fuck up, Mom! Nobody fucking gives a shit! <laughs> fuck you, kid! Fuck you! Go to fucking school, shit or fuck! <laughs> <laughs> This fucking asshole kid gaslights me every time I talk about this fucking thing, but it's so true. I totally saw it. Free. <laughs> Catch the mysterious red willow wisp on windswept run at night. Ooh. Oh my, you. Such a fine specimen. <laughs> You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. Feel that same aura from you as you could truly become true friends with your Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how you're friendly you are with the Pokemon that carry with you. I'm going to show you some time. You want to just show you some Pokemon? Ooh, you're nearly there with this one. <laughs> I could show it's opening up his heart to you now. Don't give up. I'd love to see proof that you're the type of the truly prefer Pokemon. Oh, you're nearly there. <laughs> oh, it's the kid. And she fucking yelled at me. And she said to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what you need to do to be super awesome member of the galaxy team? Be wicked smart. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'd be a struggle with 100 people. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own someday, but I've been throwing balls to my aim spot on. Now I think I've been ready to practice real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the survey core and all. Do you think you can give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? Yeah, okay. Give me five Pokeballs. Woohoo, now I can catch up part of Pokemon on my own. Wicked. Here's a reward just for you, some grit dust. I know it's super hard to collect and I know it's super worth a trade. Thank you for crafting something really complex. Here's some fucking dust from the ground that I found. Don't spend it all in one place, dipshit. See you later. Where the fuck? Oh, that was the guy right up there by the exit. Never mind. Can put you on the same species for like my different sizes. I know the professor said I do, but I have a hard time believing it until I see a different size one lined up side by side. There really are videos so bigger than mine. I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. He said, What? <laughs> you're a natural man because I catch a play my red. I bet you're going to see where I'm going with this. You catch a video so bigger than mine. Would you let me have it? I'll make it worth a while. Big Buzel, little Buzel. Catch a big Buzel. Give it to Dorian. Dorian, would you like my big Buzel? Even though it's just a regular Buzel. Oh my God, look at him. He's a tiny little sibling. It's almost the big one as a little one's old sibling. The two of the little ones snap points up and it looks at us. It's such a pushing that thing. And the big one's full tight and sick. There's something we're sure about how large it is, don't you think? What do you play with? Say, species can be so different depending on which one's bigger. Do we get out of the way size when you're kissing the noise? But there's a special noise. She's going to be so hard. Give me a little favor. So, of course, she may not always be rooting for you. I got some berries and some XP for giving away up my child. Good. See you later, dipshit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Oh my god, get chucking. Oh my fucking god, what's going on? Oh my. 
Oh my god, they're taking over. It's a plague. They've come. It's happening. The apocalypse. Holy fuck. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of my face. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh my god. They're literally all about it. They're all over here now. Holy fuck. Oh my oh my god. so hard right now holy shit <laughs> holy fuck this is terrifying what's this guy in beating up drift balloons bro oh my god there's so many. I'm hitting them off in the back, bro. It's the only way. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Oh, so close to 69. Well, we're not talking. You serve yourself a record. Well done. Like I said, I got prize line up to give out. Depending on well, you do best on the score time. Here's a prize for you. Sticky globs. Hmm, so it, you've... Wait, so it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not noble can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adamant or Irida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Aruzu. You, uh, you did well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. No problem, Adamant's got his hands full, so letting go clad in all Ursa Luna's world it wouldn't be giving, giving you time of day, so the Galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursa Luna's warden, Miss Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded, <laughs> bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. Hello, small child. Would you like to do everything for us again? I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Okay. In the Crimson Mirelands. You will find the Pokemon maybe there to be more fearsome than of the Obsidian Field Man. Even the landscape itself is harsher with steamer bees and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming... You must be a second star to face the Meyer lands. Complete the research task to help you the fucking nice CVO to improve in the race. Do you still make catching Pokemon and conducting your survey work in areas you currently have access to? Except I already have that. I already have enough. So Yeah, yeah, we made any progress in your research task. If you can bring us to report and I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Check it out, bitch. You may progress as soon as you have a new summer star. I have to pee. Hey, Boinkus, mind helping me train a bit? Sure. Gee, I wonder if you'll have just a Pikachu. That's the stuff. I feel a lot better going out and research my own if I can beat you. Yeah, you're super gonna. Pichu, you little fucking shrimpy fuck, dude. I swear it. This guy has two Pokemon. Can we point this out? He's got literally two. You're right, guys. I'm trash. I'm trying really hard over here. Oh, boy. Pikachu's going to be angry with me again. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. Seems right that the one who should defeat a lord, a lord would beat me too, I guess. Oh, thanks for the batter. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Stealth spray. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items. So I tried to duck in and grab them, but it turns out there were legions of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it out loud. You be careful with those distortions, right? Anyway, time to make my way to the Myerland camp. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Oh, cool. It's like the field lands, but it's orange. I'm here too, for some reason. An area teeming with poison wielding Pokemon. Is motherfucking Crow Gunk in this bitch? Because if motherfucking Crow Gunk's in this bitch, everything changes here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Everything. Everybody. All of you shut up. It's time to explore. Shut up. Get away. Get away. Shut. 
Shut up. Stop. Stop. Stop speaking to me. Stop speaking to me. What the fuck is that? Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. Stinky bitch around the corner. Is that a Krogunk? <gasps> Get out of my fucking way. Get out of my fucking way. Get out of my fucking way. Gotcha, bitch! Uh-oh. Um, 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 um. Come back, baby. I didn't mean it. Eh. What the hell even? What the fuck even? Man booked it. What the fuck? Oh my God, look at him. I can see him sauntering. I can see his swagger from afar. Hold on. What the fuck even? With the dodging and shit. Go over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. No, shh. <laughs> Where is he? He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell my mom on you. Oh fuck. No, I'm not here. I'm not here anymore. What the f Who the fuck dares? Who's artillery striking me with poison? Yeah! Yeah! It's the boy. Where is he? No, fuck off. Holy shit, wait a m Oh my fucking god. Hey, why do I have a fucking buddy with me? Back here, bitch. This is so epic. Holy sh- <gasps> Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking- Um, um, yeet. Um, yeet. Um, yeet. Um, yeet. <laughs> God damn it. Like, Scoob, there's a ghost. <laughs> Zoinks. Like, what the fuck? I'm freaking out. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> like, Scoob, I fucking got him. Gotcha, bitch. I love the assassinations with these heavy balls. Did it just make it rain? Type overlap. <laughs> type overlap. <laughs> type overlap. That's not efficient. That's not efficient type coverage. <laughs> Nerd emoji. You can't pick Pokemon you like. You have to have perfect type coverage. I'm gonna die alone. I'm gonna die alone. I'm gonna die alone. Oh.